tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, as we're about to um, share our minds, burden things that revolve around our relationship, oh Lord, we pray that you give us wisdom to, 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 um, to rub minds together, to learn, to share ideas, and to stand out as Christians goes that will, will make him part and that, that will be successful in our relationship in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So for things that are don't have zooms so, um, not based on their phone they can actually join us on live by facebook because of twitter same so by seven but first of all <laughs> um this is four one two hand joining us the, is um for one uh, um Okay, um, I'm really sorry. Fika, you just have to work with me this time. So, so you to unmute people. I'm sorry for that breaking transmission. I guess network, Nigerian network system is something else. So, as I was saying, for those of us joining us for the first time, 412 is a platform where working class, matured, single Christian, uh, Christian singles gather together to rub minds and learn on things pertaining to our career, our relationship life, and everything about our life. You understand so in this platform we allow people to share their views concerning issues that we might face in our journey to our marriage relationship and then we have our coach who is reverend yumi kasali come up to address those our issues so today like we all know we'll be talking about compromise the importance of compromise in relationship oftentimes you've heard people talk about compromise if you, are, if you want to go into a relationship you have to know, know that compromise is very, very important. So today we'll be talking about compromise. What is compromise? Um, how important is compromise in the relationship? To what extent would you compromise for the success of your relationship? So I'm just going to be, Fika, you have to work with me. So um, I think I have Maswell with me. So I would like Maswell to share his opinion on what he thinks um, compromise is the importance of compromise in a relationship. Is compromise really important in a relationship or is not? So, Fika, can you unmute uh, Maxwell? Fika, Maxwell, can you talk now? 
Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Maxwell. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, I think compromise is, is very important because in a relationship involves more than one person with different background, different views, different ideologies. As much as it's important that we are that we are aligned on core values, but there are some things you know that we might have to compromise a little, so we can be able to mm -hmm. to work the relationship. So in my opinion, I think compromise is essential in a relationship, but not to the extent where you now lose value of your identity. No, as much as compromise is allowed, there are some core values that are important to you. The values that make you you. So those values should not be compromised. However, it, there are some things that you can adjust, you know, just to accommodate the other person. But okay. the things that, are, this, you, know, you get my point, the things that are very important to you, the things that make you you, and the sole cardinal po uh, point, cardinal existence of your own, the, the cardinal values of your existence, you can no longer compromise them because. Anybody that's not aligned with that, you guys can have a relationship. But for relationship to go, there are some things you can compromise on. So why okay, compromise? Maxwell, you're breaking a bit. Good? Okay. I'm listening. Why compromise I'm listening. is good? Yeah, why compromise is good? Why compromise is essential? There is a limit to what you can, what you should compromise. That's it. My, that's my position. Okay. There is a limit to. Well, okay. What you're saying is that compromise is important in a relationship. But there's yes. a limit to what you can compromise. What I'm saying, compromise is essential in a relationship. See, we all have different backgrounds. But the baseline is that there are some things that you cannot compromise. There are some that are called, that are called to you. So you don't have to, you can't compromise those ones. But some things can be compromised. So it's like, it's it's not like a direct, it's, it, you have to find a way to balance it. You understand? How do you guys understand? Hello? Okay. Okay. That's my okay. position. Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. But I, I, I would like you to like um give us instances for you as a person. What's your deal breaker? Like things that you cannot in some areas. Like I want instances on some areas that you can't compromise for. Hello, okay, Master. Okay, I'm with you. For instance, I, 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 domestic violence is a deal breaker for me. Like I can't stand violent people. There's no compromise. There's no negotiation. You can't. We can't, I can't deal. Once I even have ten, if also I see the tendency that this person can not control their anger, or okay, everybody can get angry, but in their anger they destroy things. You know, you can start scattering things. You can. I don't want someone to come and murder me. So that one, there's no negotiation. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to compromise that. Okay, you can't. You can You can You can I, I can't deal. All right. I can't deal. Uh -huh. I can't deal. There's some things that I can manage. I don't. There's some things that I can deal. There's some things I can, I can. Uh, we can talk about. But you see, when you go to that that one, I cannot. You know, then I cannot. I can't. I, 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 there's some things that I can't do. You know, I have my I have my values. You know, the values we appreciate, like honesty, respect. You know, mm -hmm. and all that. So if, if I cannot, if you, have, if you are not telling me that I should adjust those things and. No, that's difficult. But there's some things that we can say comp compromise. Hello? Like, hello, can you hear me now? There's yes, some compromise that we can say me. But, but maybe I want to marry you. Don't attend my church. Are you okay. attending a different church? And I can say compromise and still go ahead. For me, you understand? For that person, it might be a deep breaker. But I'm just giving you an instance of the oh, things you, I can You change. Say. You join your spouse in their church. Okay. No, I might not okay. join. No, everybody can. No, we might still decide to go to different churches. My opinion, mm -hmm. I don't care. But I can still compromise to that extent. Though some people cannot, but but me, I can still compromise to that extent. However, some there are some no nos, and there are some things I can manage. And I think I've just given you just a small example. Thank you. Okay, I can I can barely hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Maxwell. So so you just mentioned something about church. I've seen I've seen. I've seen where people have issues with um, when people want to get married, church has been an issue. And they say, ah, the, this person is from Catholic and I'm Anglican and I can't marry Catholic and I can't marry. So I'm asking, um, I hope I hope you can hear me. Maxwell. I can hear you. I can hear you. 
Okay, okay. So I'm so um it's it's you know no no one thing with relationship, you know, when you are saying Go. There are things that you just do. You just do it. He said, I, I like my house being being neat. So if, if I get to be with somebody that somebody that I'm planning to get married to, that the person is kind of not properly kept person. He likes keeping things anywhere. He doesn't like. Uh, in that issue, and I complain, and I complain, I complain, and I complain in at all at all. I'm, I'm asking in that area, is it not worth for me to just ah? Uh, if I, it's something that I know that I cannot deal with, is it not better for me to just leave the relationship if I can't compromise? Anyway, I I want to ask um, Onwoka Izuchuku. I just want to be calling people names. I want to contribute. You can share your stories different denominations this is one of the issues that people have problem with when it comes to denominations people don't know how to compromise when it comes to denominations so i'm asking i, I want fikayo can you please unmute onwoka izuchuku onwoke mano can you unmute him fikayo Fikayo, I hope he can hear me. I need you to unmute um, Emmanuel. Hello, Fikayo. Hi. So is, Fikayo. Is your mute himself? Okay, I'm calling him. So let me, let's unmute, um, unmute, I'm seeing Benson. Benson, how are you doing? I think, I think, I don't know, I don't know what happened. You can't speak. So unmute, um, unmute um, Benson. I want to hear Benson's opinion. Yeah. Benson, it's good to have you all the way from Germany. Hi. Nice to see you guys too. Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> I have to drag you. So, so compromise in a relationship. How important. So, and I'm asking you, can, is it possible for you to um, compromise your happiness for the success of your relationship? Let's see. I think, I think, uh, I think in, in a relationship, my, my happiness is paramount. So I don't think I will compromise my happiness in a relationship, uh, be it marriage, uh, be it, uh, um, uh, uh, be it a uh, courtship, uh, I don't think so. So I think um, uh, if, 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 if my happiness is, um, is tempered on porn, I don't think I can, I can, I can be happy, I can move on with the relationship. So I don't think it's a no good. So when it comes to compromise, it depends on what you are um, compromising for and what um what i intend to gain from compromising because uh you you don't have to compromise and the other person won't won't compromise for example you see listening you said you cannot uh, deal with a a man who doesn't keep his goods where it's supposed yeah, to be a very untidy person yeah but um almost every man has that little atom of that behavior so untidy <laughs> no every man has a way of trying to keep things yes. up the way. All right. okay. the way. Yeah. So if 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 you dated someone and you guys ended up in marriage, you must have coped with that for a long time for you to even go into marriage. So why would you want to back out inside marriage? You should have backed out before the marriage. So why backing out now? So I think before marriage, there are things you must have assessed of your partner and and have come to to compromising within yourself before you even get into marriage. So I don't think compromising after marriage is is uh, is an ideal issue. I, I do uh, is very is 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 good. So 
No, but I, 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 you're saying you're saying um after marriage, but even in marriage, I, I still hear married couples still compromise. Well, well, you know, uh, in marriage, I'm not married, but I think in marriage, there's some things you know that uh, this person can change about that thing. This person, I'm listening. I, I, I'm not married, so I will not. I might not be the perfect person for that. I'm with you. Person. But um, uh, when it comes to to marriage, in marriage and compromising, I think everybody has a freedom, freedom to express himself or herself in marriage, freedom to worship, freedom to uh, seek opinion and uh, freedom to contribute in, the, in, in, a, in an opinion or, or a freedom of speech. So and in marriage, I think, I think there are things I cannot compromise. Like I always say, I cannot compromise my happiness. I cannot live with a woman who is not in herself, is not happy. If I see you are not always happy, then I, it's, it's a no, it's a, it's a, what will I say, turn off because I'm, I, I like to be happy and I like people around me to be happy. If I see a, a, a we call them problem child, if I see a problem child around me, I, it's always, I, I don't think I will ever want to go into a relationship or compromise my happiness for someone who is not herself personally happy or who has, is personally herself is not motivated. So I think, uh, there are a lot of things I don't personally wouldn't compromise. I can't marry someone who is not a Christian, probably. Mm -hmm. We might have yeah. our own uh, uh, churches, church uh, and uh, doctrine, but obviously she she should have this. Uh, she should be a Christian. I wouldn't marry someone who I think is not goal oriented. People who sit at home and want uh, the dish to be served. I wouldn't want that kind of person. I want somebody who is also goal oriented. So as I'm pursuing my dreams, she is also pursuing her dreams. I, I, I bet I'm talking too much right now. So it's, <laughs> it's not is, talking uh, too much. I'm talking, so, uh, you're, 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 making, you're making some points. I get you. So I, I, I want somebody who is also contributing in the house, not just sitting back and me going and be bringing the dough. She also should go out and bring the dough. And, 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 and I wouldn't want any, uh, any person, uh, anybody who, who is easily influenced by people's idea. She, uh, she goes out, she sees people, she's the kind of cast people, people, other people's wife drive, other people, they, what other people do, and she comes home and always nag about it. Um, uh, Chidima's, uh, Chiamaka's uh, husband is doing this, Chiamaka's husband is riding with Gatsi, and uh, Chiamaka's husband is, so, it feels it feels uh, competitive. She start feeling competition, uh, competitive, and and that's where the nagging comes, and that's where the happiness is uh, corrupted. And before you know it, uh, your happiness is uh, taken away from me. And once a man is not happy, there's a tendency that he will also try to go for happiness elsewhere. And uh, yeah, and, but let, and, let me cut you. Let and, me cut you. Yeah, just if, looking from the men's perspective. I'm looking at compromise from the both people. But I think compromise is when one person is compromising, it will get to a point that it looks as if you are sacrificing. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at compromise from just one person's perspective. I, I feel compromise is just two people coming on a level ground to understand themselves that, okay, if this person, for instance, um, I have a, you have you have a partner that is, is more of um, the outgoing person. He wants to go for movies, he wants to go out. And you are the more kind of person that is a homely person. You just want to stay at home. You don't like going out. You don't like people visiting. And then your spouse likes the person, people coming to the house and people want to get married. At what point can you put sit down hmm, and come together and say, okay, how do we resolve this issue? If one person is going to, if I'm going to, I don't like going out and I have to, go out with you all the time because you like going out and you there's no time you don't want to stay at home with me and just hang out watch movie at home that means i'm just the person sacrificing you are not doing it so that's what i'm just looking at it's not i feel compromise we are not just looking at compromise as it's coming from one person if, if it's one person that is it's coming from i don't think that's right i think anyway okay. Um, okay. I, I think, okay 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 uh, just give me i think you, you always say I'm looking at, at it from a male perspective, but I'm a man, so I yeah. always have a bigger perspective from the men's side. But coming okay. up, coming to uh, both parties' uh, 
see, I've I've have I've had friends, even male friends. So male friends are, uh, from what you have going on with your male friends, you can also kind of try to mirror yourself working with the opposite partner, although it's not always the case. I think in friendship, there's always an unwritten rule. It's, uh, there's not always, uh, there's no rule that says this must happen, or this must not happen. I think uh, there are rules that even in our hearts, we all know this is a no go, this is a not do. So, and, and my friends always know that this is Benson. Benson doesn't want this and Benson doesn't. So if like, for example, um, I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm uh, uh, to go against people smoking, but I'm not a smoker. And if I hang around my friends and they end up smoking, they already know that Benson doesn't smoke and they, they don't try forcing me or try to offer me. And that doesn't mean I'll cut my friends because they are smokers. No, you know, sometimes you have to deal with people knowing that you people are different and 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 you have to deal with them and their inadequacies. Thank okay. You. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um I can see um um Brian Brian is raising his hands. I think he has something to say. Fikayo, can you unmute him? Fikayo. Okay, Brian. Fikayo, can you unmute Brian? Oh. A second, please. Fikayo. Please don't mind me the one Fikayo. Fikayo is the host and uh, he's the person in charge of muting and unmuting people. Fikayo, can you unmute him? Oh. Sorry. All right. Um. Oh. You still can't hear me. Fikayo, hi Chamaka. Can't see the person again. All right, I'm sorry for the. I'm trying hard, very, very hard for him to unmute some people to talk. Fikai, have you seen the person that raised his hands? Who? Oh, um, nobody's raising his hand here. Yes, particular person that raised his hand. That Brian. He's not here anymore. Oh, he's left. He has left. Okay, who other person wants something to do before we, before coach comes up? I just really want us to. We are not really deliberating on this issue, so I just want to share this thing. So I think a couple of weeks ago I saw it on the internet and it was trending. So um, the the lady the lady ends more than the guy, the lady ends more than the guy, and the lady is based in Lagos and the guy is based the lady is based in Portugal and the guy is based in Lagos. So they're about getting married, and then the issue comes up of how they are going where they are going to stay and the lady is telling the guy to um relocate to portacourt he can apply for he works in a bank he can apply for um, a transfer to portacourt since she she's earning better and obviously it's she's earning better so the guy, but the guy is saying no that him as a man is not going to apply for transfer to join him over in portacourt Join her over in Portacourt. She he's saying that the girl has to quit her job, move over to Lagos with him since they're getting married as the head, as the man of the house. So in this issue now, and who is supposed to compromise in this in this particular issue? 
who do you think is supposed to compromise? Please, if you really want to share your view on this discussion, kindly raise your hand so that they can unmute you to talk. I'll be calling names. Ajiri Solomon. If you can unmute Ajiri. Ajiri. Done. Ajiri, so the mic is on you now. So I want to hear your opinion on this. Ajiri. Hello. Wow. Why are people not talking? Everybody's just listening now. <laughs> I just want to hear you people's opinion. Who is so supposed to compromise in this situation. Because I know that in marriage, we are singles, we are dating somebody and you are planning to marry. There are some areas you have to, your finances, you have to, if you have to plan on how to get, come on a play level ground. If you're dating someone that is even outside your state, you know, people say that, oh, you're dating someone Someone that is outside your where your, your state of location um it's going to be a problem for you to issues we're looking at for people to like am i if you, if you don't discuss this issue you find out that when you get married this become an issue so i have i had a friend i had this is a true life story the guy they got married already had a daughter and the lady was working in benin and the guy is in abuja working so the man was saying that he needs she need to relocate to Abuja, that she will find her another job, just like the same issue I, sh I shared with you. Now, this one is a true life story. And at that point, the man was telling that going, that if she, she if she doesn't want to join him over in Abuja, they are going to get divorced, and it's a very big issue. So I, I'm just looking at places or um, things or areas which one needs to compromise. Because I know that compromise is is I, for me, I think is very very important. You as a single person, there are things you do freely. If you are meeting someone, that people are going to come to a level play ground. So I don't know. I'm still waiting for people to raise their hand. Though nobody's raising their hand to talk, and I'm calling names. I'm calling names. So Tika, uh, I'm muting Gazi. Tika, can you unmute Gazi? Fikayo, what is happening today now? Fikayo, can you unmute Ngozi? Fikayo. Don, she, she can talk now. So Ngozi, hello Ngozi. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you. So let's see how Good you evening, doing. everyone. Um, for me, for my, you said that we should be able to come on the ground. I can't just be the only one um, giving out. I know that when they, um, you know, there is this thing in Igbo. Igbo will say, Igbos will say, women don't have church. That where you get married to, wow. you start attending the man's church. I'm like, I know you can relate on that. Don't tell yeah, you, yeah. If, if women, we don't have church. That where you marry, you start attending the same church. I believe before all, before we even get married, we start discussing all these things because I can be very, very, I can be very, very um, inquisitive. I'll ask you. I won't see you. You, I'll ask you times when you don't, when you least expected questions that you don't even believe. I'll just ask you, and I'll get what I want. So to me, it's I. We should. I won't compromise my faith. I won't be, I can't marry Muslim, sorry. And there are other things I, if I see it in the person and I'll just say, no, 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 I can't compromise this. I can't, I can't do this. So faith is one of the very, 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 very important when I can't compromise. I can't do other tribe, but faith, I can't. Amaka, can you hear me? Amaka.
Hello, can you hear me? I think she's off and she'll be back shortly. Okay. Okay, as I said earlier on, I can't compromise my faith. I, 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 can't, I can't compromise um, certain kind of attitude, maybe abusive word. And I maybe, um, you know, sometimes when you get angry, you use certain kind of words. And once, once I bring it to the person's attention that, oh, guy, I don't like this attention. I don't like the way you reacted to certain things. And you're not able to correct yourself over time. I just say it's like it's an attitude or it's already a character, it's already a character trait. Then I don't think I'll be able to stay with such kind of person. So that's just my take. Okay. I, I and if I, I, I was off a bit, so you are saying that there's some there's some areas you can't compromise. Yeah, can I you? said I can't. Yes, I can. Can you hear me now? Amaka, yes, can you yes, hear yes, me I now? Hear you. Okay, I said I can't compromise. I'm with you, my I can faith. hear you. Okay, I, I said I can't compromise my faith. Um, it's one of a it's a very, okay. very major one. I, as I said earlier on that um Igbos, they say we don't have church, but at least I should be able to look at the person's um religious background and say, Oh, I can live with this person. And um for character, if I see that the person is a very abusive person. I, and I bring it to the person's correction one or two times and the person refused to take correction. I can, I can even decide to actually step out of it before it gets, becomes very serious. And for tribe, I can do any tribe. So that's just my little take on that. Amaka, can you hear me now? You you can do so you and um, your job. Can you compromise in the area yeah, that she's saying, look at the situation she's into. They're about to get married, but she ends more than the husband. And it's about you, you, okay, let me just put it to you now. So if you marry someone that the person had tells you that you need to relocate, I know that this place you're staying is where your business is located and that's where you're making your money. Will you compromise because you love this person is your husband to so actually relocate and meet your husband where he is? Okay, he, I, he wants me to leave my job. Okay, to leave my business. Yes, if, it's yes. a, if it's a job, it, it's, I can still look at it and say, okay, are we, am I going, to, how quick will it be for me to get another job? Is it going to assist me in getting another job? That's one. If he's not going to assist me, um, is he going to help me set up a business? Because I know fine, they say we, um, women are the ones carrying family. So is he going to assist me in setting up a business? And if he says yes, and at least there should be a plan before I just, I won't just wake up one morning and there should be a plan before marriage. It should be a plan before I even start planning on relocating because I know fine, any, anywhere my husband is is where I'm supposed to be. But we should have at least discussed this meet on a level ground and before I can okay. take, I wouldn't just wake up one morning and say I'm resigning from a job when I, when I know there is no another. Because if you stay at home, he will start complaining that you're staying at home. Okay. Okay, Ngozi. You're saying that there's some areas you had to, you had to talk about it anyway. All right, Ngozi, thank you. So I don't know, who's, who's the other person? Okay, I have Titi Layo. Titi Layo has something to say. And Fikayo, can you please unmute Titi? Fikayo? Done, done. Okay, okay. Titi, you have the floor. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay. So um, generally, I believe it's not, it's, it's not um, negotiable. There are compromises okay. in relationships. Even, um, even if it's not um, a man to woman relationship, even if it's me and Chiamakas, we are friends. Yeah, for any relationship to, to move from a level to another, to grow, there, is, there are compromises generally every time. Okay, all right. So as we're, as we're discussing, briefly as we're discussing, and you mentioned about the lady in Port Harcourt and the, and the guy in Lagos, yeah? And so I was just asking my, uh, sorry, I'm married though. 
Mm-mm. I was asking, <laughs> I was asking my husband because usually men men yeah. has a they have they they have reasons they have perspectives, yeah. So is is a thing we need to sit down and really talk about. We need to sit down and yes. talk about. It. We need we need to reach Hello? agree. Can you can you then? Okay. Yeah. So okay. So it was not like what if the bank where the guy works he has more potentials to probably um to get uh, promotions he, he has a career he's trying to build you get probably okay. if he probably take a transfer to portacourt you know I've, I've seen situations where when you make a transfer they may put you on a lower level probably you're a senior associate too yeah. they may yeah. they may have to put you in like senior associate one or even a staff okay. four you understand yeah. because you are you know, so probably he's trying to build a career. So that's why sometimes, sometimes these men or a lady, depending on the case, you have to say everything that it entails. You shouldn't say one part of it that ah, I'm the man here. I cannot come to report court. You understand? Yeah. But yeah. when you explain, when you painstakingly explain why, okay. you know, the lady might even still oh understand. And okay. aside that, you guys can put out a plan you may say okay probably when we marry for the first six months you can still work we can save you know there are so many things to do yeah that, 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 that's the, that's the compromise i'm looking at that's it you, you just you just explained it now you just explained it better because i know that when this issue were like ah she earns more money everyone was just looking at it earns more money yes that's people the compromise. Reason i'm saying point. generally yeah. that these are these are issues we really need to sit down and mm. discuss that's why okay. um, I remember when we, when I was cutting when when I was cutting, my my mentor then would say, "Titi, what are you guys discussing?" Oh. Okay. Things to discuss, even though. Myself and my husband are in the same church. There are still so many things we need to compromise about. Many things we need to reach a compromise. Uh, I can't do this one, no. I can't do this one, no. Because like that brother was talking, I when I joined, it was one brother that was talking that the wife has to be working, the wife has to be doing this, the wife has to be doing that. You know, you will realize that. So I, for me, I, I believe, number one, like everybody has mm-hmm. have said, Faith, you cannot compromise. And aside that, the brother is even born again. You have to be sure his character. You have to be sure his level of humility. You have to be sure of some, some basic things. That's, that one is there. That one is like a, a foundation. Then the other one that okay. goes, you know, teachable spirits, both for both parties now. Because there are so many things that will just hit you that you don't expect. I'm okay. serious. So yeah. as you go in the journey, it's not it's not just what you've discussed. Ah, I want three children. I just want two mm. children. Um, yeah. Yes, those things is very good. We sit down to discuss all those things. Very good. Do we want people to come and stay with us after when we are married? Do we want family members in the house? How long, if family member come, how long do they want? Do we want housemaids? Like yeah. me, I always say, I don't want housemaids. Now let's say you will need I said, me, I don't want. Do you understand? So, but I know I've not really gotten to a point where I, when I'm overwhelmed, I can now say, ah, I can't do without a, a housemate. You understand? Okay. But now that I'm speaking, I said, I don't want. He says, you will need. So there are so many things that will just come at you unexpectedly. So, but right. if you have a man, if you have a woman that normally you guys can sit down to discuss yeah, my yeah. uncle would tell me that it's it, you and your husband never argue on issues. When it's becoming an argument, just stop. You okay. and your husband always discuss issues. Okay. So if you have a friend in your husband, if you have a friend in your wife to be, and you guys can sit down and discuss, know that someone has an intention or a motive, and you're not saying it all, and this one too is not saying it all. Do you understand? So sometimes when you see some yes. stories on social media, it's not all we have to hear about those stories. 
those stories are just like the the fairy feral of it. We've not had it. So the motive of the guy that is saying that ah, I can't come to Porta Court, he may have some motive. He may it may be that ah, he may even be inferior. May feeling ah, how can he stay with you know? We are different, but we have to come down. We have to be able to um um, yeah. um reach a compromise or marry someone or be in relationship with someone that can listen and both okay. of you can really discuss if not because there are always compromises always always and different <laughs> things all right <laughs> Uh, all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah. thank you, Titi Layo. I just look at, you mentioned something that I picked. It's about, I say, communication. So you must always communicate. You have to sit down and talk about it. Thank you, Titi Layo. So um, Maxwell, before Maxwell, Maxwell is raising his hands. So we are still waiting for Reverend to join. He's going to join us very soon before you just answer all our questions. I see a question here that someone dropped. But before they pick up, can you unmute Maxwell? Sorry, Tita, um, Titi Lai has to join us. I know she's she married, she's a newly married woman, but she wanted to join us and have a conversation. So we have to allow her to join us. So if you can mm -hmm. unmute Maswell, Maswell. So okay, can, can you hear me now? Yes, can, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Well, I was going to say something about that relocation thing. Yes, okay. The compromise thing, the compromise issue here is if people are married now, they are sick and their spouse, they don't live in the same country. So why are they okay. making Potaco to Lagos look like it's a big deal? It's not a big deal now. It's not a big deal. You can they can see they can be seen every week. If the work is so important to both of you and you need to get married, if you say you cannot leave to Potaco, as long as I cannot leave to Lagos, then let them continue living in Potaco now. I had a neighbor who was living upstairs. Okay. His wife was living okay. in Potaco. Okay. Papa was working right. with Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Papa was working in Nigerian period. So the Nigerian priest brought him to to Eric Mo. Yeah. And she had the job with 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 oil and gas in Potaco. She had to come and spend a year here yeah, without the wife. So all those things are that, that normal it's not that's not an excuse for you to now break a marriage or this is 21st century. The the company is hiring you or who you are working with, know your peculiarity. It is just it's air to Portaco is just one now. You can fly to Portaco and go and see your meat at that time. If you know you don't want to shift ground. Okay, let me give you another instance. I know a couple of my so much sure. okay. I'm, I'm with you. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, I think so you are saying you are saying something. Yeah. Mm. I know a married couple now who the, the wife does not she does not like house call and she's not able to take care of the children. That's why did not call her now. Just mm. insisted that she should pay for the and uh, she's not paying for the nanny. The husband is not paying. That's not like if you are going to take care of the children. So if you are not able to take care of the children, then let the pay for nanny. Simple. So it's about that issue of relocating should not be the reason why they are not marrying somebody. Let's find a way to work it out. Thank you. Okay, but you, you are, wait, wait, Maxwell, hold well on. Maxwell, this, this is for you. So another person, that relocation is a deal breaker because the person might just love the job and I'm like, we are just saying it as if they should sort it out. But I know that's where the importance of compromise comes in. That's where you have to look in, okay, can I really compromise? But I feel if the person say, if the person is saying, oh, oh, no, 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 no way, I can't compromise. That's the person's opinion. That's the level because you can't, you don't want the person to compromise tomorrow. The person will be unhappy. Like when it comes to that place, I'm like, I don't have a better job or so many things. Me, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm, giving, me, I'm giving my opinion. To me, that's not a big deal enough for me to, to, to abolish a marriage. That's, okay. that's my opinion. Okay. People are married to people who are not in the same country and they're they happily married. I have a friend who got married last year. They, in fact, they met on Facebook. They spoke, they spoke for like three months. The guy came to Nigeria, they got married. She went back to the US, to UK. Papa is living in Nigeria. She's living in the UK. They're happily married. And they're living their life. They're not complaining. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, uh, Master, for that contribution. So, someone raised the question here yeah, while we are still waiting for Reverend to come up. I guess something is, I'm, we are still waiting for Coach to come up. I'm still trying to reach him. He will soon join us. Someone asked this question, so I'm trying to the house. Um, is genotype something someone should compromise in a relationship? Is genotype no. something someone no. should compromise in a relationship? Hell no. <laughs> no. For okay, me, I know, I, I know, no. I know, I know, I master, master, hold on. I know why you are shouting because you're a doctor. <laughs> no, Capitan, no. What? No, funny enough, bro. funny enough, eh? funny enough. Don't say that. Though. I know a doctor who, I, I know, okay, okay what master, if they decide not to have kids? No, that, 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 I, eh? I, that's possible. I know a pharmacist now who, who she got married to the guy and she knew what she was going into. Today, she's not finding it funny. We served together. She said oh. she knew what she was going into now. She's the only one taking care of the children. But though there are several ways, Sha, you could, they can decide to, well, mm -hmm. oh, so me, you're saying me, say genotype no, is a no-no. Uh -huh. Okay, for me, for is me, let me just say for me, say no, no, because although I don't have, I don't have genotype issues because I'm A, so I don't know how I feel, so I'm sorry. So for me, Sha, but for me, I don't advise people are here to marry themselves. But there are options. They could decide to terminate the pregnancy before the child is delivered. They can do both my own tests. Okay, but what I'm so saying nice. is that the traditional, the traditional way that it is right now, it doesn't make sense. Because the stress will be on the woman when the time comes. And she will not find it for oh, She's the oh. one going to hospital. She will do her hair. That's that she will now know that it's not fun. Because the stress will be more on the woman, not on the guy. The guy will not be the one sleeping in the hospital with the baby. It will be you. So think twice. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Maxwell. So I'm still, uh, if you have any contribution or any story, I want to, like I asked before, would you compromise your happiness for the success of a relationship? Please, please mute. Fikaya, please, can you mute uh, Maxwell? Okay. So I'm still asking. If you have a question, you can raise your hand or you indicate. So we'll talk about it while we are still waiting for coach. I don't know. I don't know what is holding coach. Uh, so would you compromise your relation? Like um, Titilayo said that compromise is something that is stated that you have to deal with in a relationship. You have to talk about Even when you are in marriage, you have to compromise at every point. Because, you know, you know, you know, I, I've, I've, I've seen, I, I've had stories of couples that you, you, you actually got, we're even talking about relocation, that people that got married and they're married for like three or four years and the lady has to, and the lady gets a job, a job in abroad and she has to go and stay there like in South Africa or, um, um, or um, one of these countries, yeah? and she has to go and stay there and you are the husband. This situation now, it, it requires who is going to understand each other to sacrifice? But again, I'm asking, I want to throw this question. Um, um, what, what is the difference between sacrifice and compromise? What is the difference between sacrifice and compromise? Because I know that compromise, compromise is coming on the same ground to meet, just like coming halfway, this person coming halfway, and you could decide, okay, this is where we meet and decide this thing. But for sacrifice, where to what extent is compromise now sacrifice? Because you might be trying as a, as, as, as an individual to um, sort things out with your spouse. You notice this thing about your spouse is not going well or he's doing this and you're trying to tell the person to stop. And the person is not even trying, but you, you are doing your own part and the person is not doing. You know, that kind of thing can be frustrating. So I'm asking to what extent is um, compromise, <laughs> turn to, let me just put it that way, turn to sacrifice. So, um, who has something to say? You can raise your hand. I, I'm waiting. I will start calling names though. Fikai, I will start calling names. Fikai, please, can you unmute Ajiri? Ajiri Solomon. Fikayo, this is my host there. Eh? Can you unmute Ajiri Solomon? John. Hello, Fikayo. Ajiri. John is, John is unmuting himself now. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Aji, you have the floor to talk. Mm. What happened now? Let me call another person. I'm trying to see who is here. Okay, um, I, I don't know whether um, he's still online. Uh, can you unmute surplus? I'm seeing surplus. Oh, these ones are not connected. Who? Surplus. So, can you unmute the plus? Is the audio is not on? Okay, his audio is not on. I'm trying to call him. So everybody, I, 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 I don't, I don't like the fact that the house is very, 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 very quiet. Okay. Okay, Samsung A seventeen. Oh, 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 some. Hello, good evening, part. everyone. I don't like the part. Oh. Hello, okay. good evening. Samsung, can you unmute Samsung A7? Yes. Hello, good evening. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay, good evening, <laughs> Samsung. Yeah. It's a good, good evening, everyone. This is, not uh, yeah, this is Benja Ogusa. I hope you can. Can you hear me? Yeah, good to have you here. So. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, um, on, listening. Yeah, on your last question. Hello. Question, me, like, between um, sacrifice and Lord, can, uh, like, hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Hello. Hope you can hear me. Go on, Benga. I can hear you. Go on, Benga. Hello. Okay. As I was saying, uh, compromise. You are basically meeting each other in the middle, whereas sacrifice is more like. You are giving up a lot, or like you are giving you. So, like, I think maybe some of the cases we might have even been talking about might be cases of um, sacrifice as opposed to compromise. So, for example, like the one we mentioned about um, relocation. In a case where, like, maybe uh, the wife or so is earning much more, and you are saying the husband should leave or should come to Port Harcourt. Say, for example, now he's not going to have like steady feet in Port Harcourt or he's, he's like going to go like 10 times lower than what he was doing in, um, in Lagos. Basically, okay. that's more like sacrifice. Or in a case where like you are doing something, yeah, yeah, like um, going somewhere, probably say, okay, I'm going to take care of the kids now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to step back. I'm going to step back in my own ambitions. It could go both ways. It could go uh, the female, that's the wife for the husband or the husband for the wife. I have ambitions. I was, I saw myself being CEO mm -hmm. or something, but now, okay, because of the kids, we do not want a house help, but we want to bring up our kids a certain way. We want to have a hands-on approach. Then I say, okay, I'm going to step back on that. I guess that's, that sacrifice as opposed to as opposed to compromise compromise would be more like okay compromise. we meet ourselves in the middle we find a way to make it work in such in such a way that um we we can still both have like 50 50 percent of what we want even if it's not 100 percent yeah okay 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 Benga, let me ask you um um um, when, when will you say compromise is unhealthy or in what areas do you think one should never ever compromise when it comes to relationship? Well, um, you see, I think we still, dealing with people? we still need to, we still need to retain ourselves. We still need to retain our core values. You understand? Um, 
And then you also need to know that there's something called abuse. So like where someone is making it look like it's compromise, but yeah, you're, yes, actually yes. Selling, you're selling your soul or you're selling your, your, you're selling your goals or you're no more who you, who you are, who you want to be, where you, you you're just kind of lost, you understand? Okay. So, like, I think everyone has mentioned, we've already mentioned the case of um, of faith. Because, okay, when it comes to faith, those are, like, your core values, your core your core mm-hmm. beliefs. You, you uh, what was it called? Going otherwise, say, okay, for example, as a Christian, saying you want to marry a Muslim, mm-hmm. that's, like, that's, like, basically selling yourself. Because being a Christian is a core part of who you are. And then say, okay, uh, what's it called? You are going to marry a Muslim. It's like a fundamental thing in the Bible where it says, can two walk together, except they be agreed. And other except things that, like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Except, they be, except they be agreed. And other things that are core to you. I, I think I want, the summary of it all is that, I guess you should retain yourself. You should protect your. You should note when it's, becoming an abuse you understand like someone is just taking you for granted where you are not i'm not yes there's a part of there's a part for selflessness you understand like okay we both need to be selfless to each other we need to like outdo each other in terms of selflessness or i need the other party to be as happy as possible but not to the extent where you completely lose Lose yourself yourself okay okay all right, Benga, thank you very much for that. Thank you, thank you. You don't have to, um, a compromise should not pass that level of you losing yourself. Because at the same time, what, what we struggle with in relationship is most times, I love this person, I don't want to lose this person. So at that time, I try to do everything that the person wants me to do to adjust. I keep adjusting. I keep adjusting. Then I will adjust to a point that I, I will lose myself. All I do is just to make this person happy, and that is not compromise. So, um, which other person is raising a sense to contribute? Um, okay, I'm I, I'm going to call them again. I don't know. I said if you have any contribution. So we are talking about compromise. Of so people that joined us late, um, we are talking about compromise. How important is compromise to a relationship? To what extent to leave compromise? just for the happiness of that relationship. So I've had, <laughs> for instance, I've seen where, for, if, if, for instance, I, I, I love big weddings. I love big weddings. I want to get married. I want everywhere to be shiny, as she be, everything, everybody to show. And my spouse I'm getting married to, uh-uh, she just wants like, oh, he just wants like 20, 50 people in a wedding. And me, I want people in my wedding. I want my mother to invite all her friends, my sisters, my siblings. In this situation, it's it's it's, it's now difficult. Of where how how are we going to go to a compromise in this particular? And I, if you can raise your hand or you can drop your question. Which other person? Okay, I can um Tikayo, can you unmute Gerard? I'm just calling people's name. You people must talk. Oh. You can share stories of your relationship or, or in areas in your relationship where you think that you've compromised, what you've learned so far. Is uh, is it healthy? Tikayo, can you unmute Gerard? No answer. Okay, Gerard, the mic is done, is with you now. <laughs> Please, I'm having dinner. I have to contribute in the next 20 minutes. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. If you can mute, mute him. So on mute Victor also. I'm calling. I know that some people won't want to talk. I'm calling Victor also. On mute Victor also. If you can, can you unmute Victor also? Good evening. Fikayo. Hello. Yeah, Victor. Hi, good evening. Thank you. Good, good evening, evening, everyone. Victor. Good evening. Okay. So, sorry I joined late. Uh, 
So I joined when uh, Benga was talking about uh, the difference between compromise and sacrifice. And I think I buy into that. Compromise seemed like a strong word. I'm not mm -hmm. sure I want to compromise on anything. But however, I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to you make sacrifices. I'm willing to um, let go of certain things. Although there are certain deal breakers that I know that are not, that is not even up for discussion. For example, my faith, that's given. For example, church. I don't, I don't see myself going to my wife's church. Not in a million years. <laughs> so that, that, that's oh, me. Now, yes. Okay, that's okay. Me. Okay. So I don't, I don't see okay. myself going to my wife's church. I am not going to, I am not, I'm not, it's not up for conversation. So once you are married, you are coming to my church. So there are, what else? I think health reasons, um, health, health related reasons. So like the AS situation now, for example. So mm -hmm. these, these things are given, but for sacrifices, like the big wedding thing you, you, you spoke about, I'm not a huge fan of crowd. I would, yeah. um, I'm the kind of guy that wants to get, that wants to elope and get married. Then maybe because of the because of the um, situation, the our uh, African situation we have, you need to call the parents, you need to call the pastor, you need to get everyone, uh, every family member involved. I'm, so I might just let that go. I mean, it's just one day. So I can. Will I? Will I want a big wedding? Maybe not. Will I allow it? Maybe if that's what she wants. So it's just. I think these things are. So I think it should just focus on the heavier matters of life. All the, these lightweight matters like wedding, relocation, people, people. It's not, no, 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 no. You don't say it's lightweight, though. It's not lightweight. This, this it's, 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 light, it's lightweight okay. to me. I'm, sp I'm, I'm speaking from my opinion. I think it's, for me, I think it's, it's I, I don't, it's I don't. Think... Imagine, I just, I just share, relocation is not lightweight at the issue. There's some people that, that's for you. It's a very serious issue. Relocation yes, yes. Yeah, for for, for me, for me, I think. Though. I don't, for me, I don't think it's, if, if there's a valid reason why we have to live in different states or different countries, as it were, I, I, if, if it's valid, why not? I mean, they will look for a way around it. People, there's various people around the world that are making these things work. So why can't we at least make an effort to make it work? So it's like... But, but Victor, you, you said, you said the little, little things. I think the little, little things from the stories we've heard are some of the things that cause this issue in 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 relationship i've seen people that because probably because of your person those things don't matter but for another person well, these things matter though so. yeah i'm listening well um i i also um i think another thing should be communication the the yeah, period of uh, the, yeah the period of dating the period of getting to know one another i think you should have these conversations and be clear on what you want so when, yeah. when, when the other person makes her opinion clear, her own yeah. view clear, and your, the, uh, so you know, okay, can I allow a big wedding? Like I said earlier, mm -hmm. I personally do not want a big wedding. But yeah. will I allow it? Most likely, maybe. If that's what she wants. But if, it, if I can get away with not having a big wedding, I might push for it. But if it doesn't happen, no, no big deal. It's, 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 I think it's, it's, it's important. Communication is key. Communication okay. is... Communication is very important in uh, not just in a male and female relationship, in all forms of relationship. Communication when 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 someone is talking and it, the person is able to communicate clearly and articulate what what is trying mm -hmm. to say or what he or she is trying to say, and the other person understands clearly too, then you know, okay, this is this mm -hmm. person's opinion on this, this this person's view on this issue, and okay, am I okay with it? Am I not okay with it? So. You just once you are, you, you are both okay with this, then you move on. You move on. If you are not okay with it, you try and discuss further and see if there's a way one of you would have to make the sacrifice. Okay. I, I, I don't. I don't think I'm okay with the word compromise because I feel like I'm losing myself in that word. I don't want to lose myself. The only person I want to lose myself in a relationship with is Christ. I don't think I want to do that with any other person. I don't think I want to do that with a human being. So I, I, I still, I'm in love, yes, and I don't think being in love should make me lose, lose the totality of who Victor Wonsu is. Do you understand? It, the, I, feel, so, I, feel, I, I feel it's, it's actually very important, too. I feel it's, it's like, you know, when uh, Titilaya joined us, 
and she shared some something to talk. It's, it's, it's a continuous effort. It's something that you do, even when you get married. There's some exactly. areas that you'll be shaking your head and shaking your head, but you have to come to that point that you know that you you can't change this thing. You can't. This is you. You can't change this. But at a point, you have to adjust a bit so that the other person can actually adjust, so that people can work out things together. So I don't feel it's not even just about you. It's about your partner, like you said, um, communication. Thank you. You very much, Victor. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, Ibukun, thank you. And um, Fikayo, please unmute Ibukun. Fikayo, I hope well, Esther, Esther, Esther is on. She's been raising her hand. Esther, Nina. Okay, okay, okay. Esther, Nina, unmute her. Esther, you are on. Esther. Hello, Esther. Okay, I'll do it before now. Okay. Ibuku. Hello, Ibuku. Fika, have you omitted that? Hold on, hold on. Okay. If you can unmute yourself, please. Hello, Ibuku. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I will just. I think. I think we don't even have much time. I think the meeting is later. This meeting is later, just for one one hour thirty minutes or so. So I, I got a message that um at, uh, something came up and Reverend was never able to he's not going to join us this evening. I don't know anything is coming to an end. And I want to sincerely apologize for everybody that was expecting Reverend to come and treat on this topic. I I me, I was so much I was so much anticipating Rev to come and join us to discuss this issue, but um, you know, he's, he's a very busy man and something came up and is unable to join us today. So I get definitely by next week that will be coming back. The Reverend is going to join us and he's going to treat on the same topic, irrespective of the topic we are doing that day. He's going to still touch this topic. So um, Fika, have you unmuted Ibuku? Everywhere. Esther. Esther. I think she um hello Esther. Muted from my end. Esther, can you unmute yourself? Hello, Esther. Oh. Finally, I think you have muted her. Okay, okay, Tikayo. All right, at the meeting will be ending soon, but let me just finalize. I want to apologize. <laughs> the Reverend Coach is not able to join us today. Something came up and is able to join us today. So, um, like we all said, um, compromise is the very, 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 very integral part of any relationship being it marriage, being it work-life relationship, there's this point in time in your life that you had to come to a playground, like this level ground with your partner. Because I feel without compromise, I don't think the relationship will be able to work. If you just carry just all about me, you are not ready to adjust. Uh -uh. You ask most married couples that have stayed long for years, when you ask them, I've stayed, I stay with my auntie. So I know most of the times that, I, 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 I want to share this thing. My, I, my auntie, compromise like adjust to a point so let's say that i miss if i used to want to really do that so when somebody wants to send that money the husband is the kind of person that doesn't have to use money he doesn't have to spend money we just misuse that money and finish it and when i send that money i sent my auntie to say ah this money don't tell don't give it don't show him or don't show him for now if you give him now you will say say no no i have to he's my husband if i don't give it to him if i don't share this um if I don't show him this money, or if I don't even give him this money, tell him the guy, look at the amount someone gave me. And I was okay, hold this one, let me hold this one. So I feel compromise is, is very, very important in relationship. But there are some deal breakers that you can never, 
compromise. You see my value, my ideology about life. I can't, I can't, you, I can't, I can't even change that for anything. I can't change what I believe in because of the relationship I'm into. I can't, um, my self worth. When like when I say, when it, when it gets to that point that you start losing your self worth, you're just just about the person. That's 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 the deep breaker. You can't be, you can't be in that relationship. But finally, when it comes to, I feel compromise to uh, has something to do with communication. You can't, uh, for, for you to come to a level ground with the person you are dating, you have to constantly communicate. So if, if, if someone is, doing, if your spouse is doing something that you know that, ah, no, this thing doesn't go well with me, or the way this person behaves, the way people, the way you relate to people, the way he spends, and you just keep mute. I think, uh, uh, and you just want to carry on like that. At a point, you just bust out. But I feel at the moment you start sitting down to talk, Talk about things, communicate, not just argue. Like this is said, you have to not argue. You just have to sit down and talk. How do we? How do we? How do we? How do we sort out this issue? Hey, this thing you do, I, I it gets me pissed off. I don't like it like this. And the person, okay, this one you are doing, I don't like it like this. How do you? You just get to that point. I'll be like, okay, you don't. Okay, you you don't like scattering. For when I said to some people that I me, mean, I don't like when people are not tidy. And me, I'm a tidy person. I like things being kept where it's supposed to be. And the person I'm dating, I'm supposed to get married to, is just this scatter of this issue. I feel for me personally, this is my opinion. It's not an authority. It's just for me to call the, my spouse and tell, and tell him, oh, this thing, I, I'm, you know, I don't like my, this thing getting scattered and all that. How do you get to this? But I'll be like, okay, if you know, do you want me to help you? Look at, don't, don't put this one here. Don't put this one here. So I just try to uh, communicate with the person and the person will just understand that this thing annoys me. I'll be like, okay, look at how we're going to do it. I know that you don't like me keeping my things here. So anytime I want to do it, please inform me so that I will just be conscious about it and I will learn and I will learn and just put this thing where it's supposed to be. I might not give the right example anyway, but this is my opinion. So um, for those of us that joined us, I'm really, really sorry. We are very sorry that coach couldn't join us tonight to... Uh, um share his opinion on this topic but this is where we draw the curtain and the meeting will be ending soon thank you all for joining so 412 for right like we all like we called people and explained because of the pandemic church has not opened the church is opening 24th but um, foundation of truth assembly is not opening church for now so we'll be having this um our 412 hangout online twice a month so we're not having it next week we'll be having another one next two weeks and now there's no barrier. I remember when we used to come every Monday, people would complain on traffic, my job, we don't used to close early. Ah, I'm not here, I'm not here. Now you can join us online. Like I have, I have Gerard, I have uh, Benson joining us, they're not in Nigeria, but they joined us online. So it's an opportunity for us to mingle and shout. So from me to everyone out there, thank you for joining us. This is where we draw the curtain. My internet is just messing up. So thank you, Benson, for joining. Thank you, Fikai. For hosting Ajiri, the only married person in our Mosu, Ibukolua. If I just don't call him, I'll just call the, the, the name and scene on the display. Techno, come on, Ngozi. Olua Femi Festa. Festa. you joined in late because can you on the very has been very busy today violent and Nairobi, big tongue also thank you all for joining Fikayo. <laughs> Fikayo, can you unmute everybody okay can you unmute everybody <laughs> thank you all for joining i think uh, we had a very very lot that um, I'm apologizing. I said, unmute everybody. Thank you all for joining. See you next two weeks for another um, Hangout. I promise you, Reverend is going to be on grad. And Reverend is going to talk about this compromise issue because I really want to hear his opinion. I just want to hear his opinion. That there's a question I want to ask him about compromise that I needed him to answer. But unfortunately, he's not here today. Please do want to join us next two weeks. and keep it locked and stay safe out there. Fikayo, hello Fikayo. Yeah, hello. they can unmute, they can unmute.
I think you can end the meeting right now so that people will leave. Uh, only to new hires. <laughs> Good night. I know you laugh. <laughs> With all those ones, all those ones are disappeared.